Hi, this is Jesse Surfstyle Developer Tutorial for Text Approval Reject Using Email Notifications. I'm going to cover inbound email action, script input, notification approval reject script, and email script. Let's take a look at the step reject HR case approval process. When the HR case is state chain to resolved, the email notification will be triggered sent over to end users. The requester will look the resolution either accept and declined. That action will trigger notification email script. Involved calling object create in script include. Script include will be processed inbound email action based on user replied, then update HR keys record is approved or reject resolutions. I'm going to cover three demos. Today, we cover demo one, creating inbound email actions. Let's take the inbound email receive type. We have three types, forward, that be based on subject content prefix FW and email body contained prefix from. The reply is based on subject line contained board mark like prefix IF colon MSG prefix and numbers as unique identifiers. The new will be Either if not forward, replied, then become new. The following is process to determine type of common emails. You can review the overall price from end to end to determine type of incoming emails, either forward, replied, and new. Yeah, please, please follow this process when you create your inbound action script. Let's begin the demo. Log into your person instance. Let's go to HR case as example for today's demo. On HR case, go click open and find any record that's in state is ready and work in progress. I'm going to open the first record and it's ready state. I'm going to click start work and working in progress. I'm going to start work on ticket. I have the resolution. Then I'm going to put my resolution in work note. Let's go to comments and work note. I think this is the permission issues. I just put my resolution that I identified your Issue is permission access late. We grant your access. Please approve the resolution. I'm going to save and close this ticket. And you can see notification will be triggered. Send user see either they can accept in the waiting acceptance or they can reject. Then you can see Notification like this will be sent over to requesters. Requester will be based on resolution is click accept completion or reject completions. That notification will trigger inbound action. Let's take a look inbound action. Inbound action and click inbound action. And I already created inbound action here. You need to create start from new. Since it's a demo, I already created one called accept reject. When you create inbound action, make sure target table. You know, I create currently target HR Workforce Administration HR case. And 
after you finish that one, then we can start to go to when to run this script. Under this section, as mentioned in my slides, the type is very important. You have three types. It's a replied, new, a forward. But this is reply because notification already sent to users. I select replied. Then you can put order, execution orders. And in here is from. This will be, if I don't put anything, any email meet my condition can be triggered this action. If you want to say, okay, I want only receive from somebody else is a different group, then you can spe specify notification here. Then you have condition to be set up. And I don't have condition for this particular case. The more important is we need to create action script. When you click open this one, a function called run action, this out box basically already predefined. Then called run action contains the different parameters, you know, like a current, that means current object glad record for this HR workforce administration table, and the event trigger the notifications and the email object. Then this is my script I create. The first one I said implement email action here is if current that state equal 20. And that means is state is based on if it's accept. Then we'll take a look the replied email in subject and line here if you contain accept. And then we change state to three, that's the result. And that will be, project will be current, but update will be update current project. This is the first scenario for accept. If reply in the subject contained reject, then you see this is condition, say, okay, I'm looking at the subject, if contains reject, then I will change state to reject the state to 18. Then we current that update. We will update state in the HR case. The state will be changed reject state. And you can put a description here. Uh, I don't have anything here, but you, as best practice, you can put a description as you preferred. This is how to create inbound action. That will be today's demo. In addition, for cut, please sub subscribe my YouTube channel. You should receive all my videos as well as coming videos and for next demos. Thank you for your listening.